Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's a good life of real demon. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you my top 10 Netflix TV shows recommendations. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. And you turn on the notification bell on so you're alerted each time I upload a new video. But we're going to get right into it. So my first suggestion is the show Friends. Honestly, if you haven't watched Friends... You should. So basically, Friends is about six friends that live in New York and they experience obstacles t with each other and they have each other to rely for support. They do live in New York. And actually, what I like about Friends is the thing is long. Um, it's really good if you watch it at night, too. If you're bored or something, it's a really good show. But overall, Friends is really good. Um, I would say I give Friends a 10 out of 10 because it's a really good show to watch. At night, when you're bored too, like I said in the beginning. But yeah, so basically, they're, they're the six friends in the like, and they love to have a good time with each other. Like, honestly, I wish they would do like a a reunion, like a friends reunion. That would be really cool to see if they'll bring that back. But I'm gonna take you guys to my next suggestion. So my next suggestion is Alexa and Katie. This is more like for people who are like my age, around high school. So, basically, if you haven't watched Alex and Katie, basically, it's a TV show. They already have two seasons already. I think they're filming season three and four. I'm not sure. But it's about two best friends who just graduated middle school, and they go off to high school with each other. But there's a twist to it. Alexa is diagnosed with cancer. So, that kind of stops her from doing the things she loves. So, But she always had Katie to rely for support. And she was always there for her, which I love about the show. Kind of reminds me of me, but except I don't have cancer, I have dwarfism. Like, it's really good. I like it a lot. Overall, it's a really good show. I hope they keep bringing it back. But I really like it. It's really good. Hopefully, they'll bring it back. But it's really cute to watch with your best friends and stuff like that. And it shows you, like, an aspect of life of how people are different, how people have different types of conditions and stuff like that. Especially cancer, because cancer is not a joke, so... I know people that have cancer, and it's kind of stressful and to deal with, especially with chemotherapy and all that stuff. So it's kind of stressful. So it's a really good show to watch. I suggest you go watch it. So, yeah, that's my next suggestion. So I'm going to take you guys to the next one. The next show is H2O. Um, I watched this a lot in middle school. But it's basically three girls who are stuck in an island, and all of a sudden they become mermaids, and they go into this really cool cave, I guess. But it's really good. I don't want to spoil it too much because that's why I'm not giving like a brief summary of what the show is about and stuff like that. So I suggest you go watch it as well. But it's a really good show. Um, it's kind of old too. It's like an oldie. It's like I would say that show was a, a show like around 2010 ish. But I, I watched it because it deals with a lot of science stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. I think I'll give it. Uh, 8 out of 10, because I don't think it was, like, really good when it came to, like, the graphics, because it was so old. But overall, it's good. So, it's on Netflix, so I suggest you go watch it. But I'm going to take you guys to my next TV show. My next TV show is Greenhouse Academy. I like the show a lot because, like, it deals with sci-fi stuff, and it's kind of like a mystery. But Greenhouse Academy is a, basically a private boarding school for students who are really smart and they have to compete with each other and they it's really cool i really like it it's kind of science and stuff like that it's i feel like season four was kind of more scary i don't know just that's just me but it's a really good show i suggest you go watch it as well it's really nice honestly it's just like sci-fi stuff but honestly it's really good if it's you're into it like i watch shows that i'm like it's a lot of science stuff so it really all depends if you're into it but they have really good actors on that show. So I, I, I would, if I were you, I would go watch that show for real. But I'm going to take you guys to the next TV show. My next TV show is Vampire Diaries. It's actually one of my favorites. Um, I didn't watch the whole thing, like the whole season. Like, the seasons are pretty long. I think I only watched up to seasons four. But it's a really good series you can watch, especially at nighttime. It's really good because it has that sort of suspense to it. At night, when you watch it, I used to watch it at night all the time. And actually, my cousin was the one who got me hooked to the show. So, yeah, so basically, Vampire Diaries, it's about a girl named Alina, and she falls in love with the Salvatore brothers. It's pretty much a love story. 
nothing much to it, but they make it so interesting and long, and that's what I like about it. But you should watch it. But if I were you, start from season one because if you just jump from season five and go to like season, I don't know, six, you're not really seeing the full effect of the story. And you should watch it. It's really, really good. I highly suggest you watch it. Especially for people who's my age and people who are in high school like me. It's a really sh good show to watch. And I highly suggest it, though. But I'm going to take you to my next show. So let's go. My next TV show is The Pikers. So you have to watch Moesha in order to watch The Pikers. Because The Pikers is basically a spin-off show on Moesha. So basically... Nikki gets pregnant with her daughter, Kim, while she was in high school. So, she wasn't able to go to college. But, since Kim grew up, she graduated from high school, now she went to college. And then, her mom decided, okay, I'm just going to go to college with you to just embarrass you, you know? Why not? It's a really cute show. I love it so much. I still watch it from this day. Like, it's a really, really good show. And, I really enjoy watching the Parkers, especially Nikki. Like, Nikki's a really good actor. Even though that's not her real name in real life. I, I forgot what her real name is. But it's a really good show. And actually, if you haven't watched Moesha, Kobe Bryant played in an episode of Moesha. Which is really cool. I didn't know Kobe Bryant was an actor like that. But he's really good. So I suggest you guys seriously go watch that show. But I'm going to take you guys to my next show. So my next TV show is Braxton Family Values. Basically, the sister is basically Tracy... Trina, Tamar, Tony, Tawanda, and their mom, Evelyn. It's a really good show. I feel like my personality matches up with Tamar because of her sass. And that's how I am in person. If you, mean, if you know me in person, that's how I act. But they're pretty much hit singers, especially Tony Braxton. She's a really good singer. So they did that show to spin it off of Tamar and Vince. And we all know Tamar and Vince are not together anymore. But that's why they did the show. It's a really good show. It's basically their everyday lifestyle, how they act in public, what they do in and out of their life, especially them having kids and stuff. And I like how they added their mom, Evelyn. I feel like Evelyn is really nice. She's really sweet and stuff like that. She's always there for her daughters. But, ooh, I'm going to tell you, like, Tawanda is more like the conservative one. I feel like she's more straightforward and more quiet. I feel like Tracy is more, like, laid back. And, you know, Tracy find it, kind of felt like she was left out a little bit. But it's a really good show. If you, It's like, it kind of reminds me of the Kardashians a little bit, but it's really not. There are hit singers, and, of course, the Kardashians are not really hit singers like that. So, they're mostly modeling. But that's pretty much it for the Brexit and Family Values. You guys should go watch it if I am. But, yeah, it's really good to watch it with family, too, because it makes you laugh. And they're really funny, too. So, yeah, so I'm going to take you guys to my next show. So, my next show is All American. All American is one of my favorite shows because it deals with social justice and stuff like that. Basically, it's about a boy named Spencer. He was a student at Crenshaw High and got asked to go to Beverly Hills High to play football. And pretty much he had to move with his coach because Billy, because it was kind of too far for him to, like, drive up and down and stuff like that. So, he moved in with his coach and then played football. And there's actually a twist to it. His mom actually had a history with his coach, which is interesting. You have to watch it season one. It's very interesting. I mean, there's some some moments I feel like was shocking. I didn't know that was going to happen. It's a really good show to watch. And I feel like it helps where they did it at, at L.A., especially where they did it, which is really cool. And that when the time of the filming, that's when Nipsey Hussle died. And I liked it how they added, like, um... A wall mural of Nipsey also, which is really cool. But I suggest you watch it. Um, They're actually filming right now for the new season. I hope it comes out soon. They have to stop filming because someone got like tested positive for COVID, which sucks. Of course, but yeah, so you guys should go watch it. And I'm just waiting on the new season, to be honest. But I'm going to take you to the so, next episode. My next TV show is all about the Washingtons. Even though they only had like one season in 2018, it was one of my favorite shows, I guess. But it's about this guy who retires from his lifetime career from being a rapper. And he's actually retired now. And he's with his family more. And his wife decided, okay, so you know, I'm just going to go start my career, basically, because they're home now. So that's pretty much it to it. There's nothing more. And they have, like, I think four kids, if I'm not mistaken. 
See, I haven't watched the show in a while, so I, I don't remember off the top of my head. But if you watch it, you'll see how many kids they have. It's a really good show, but overall, if you want, you could go watch it. I really like it, honestly. I think it's like 10 episodes, which is not that bad. Um, It's really good when you want, if you're bored, you could watch it fishing. But I'm going to take it to my last final episode. My next and final TV show is Insatiable. But if you're over 16, you have to watch it. If you're not over 16, I suggest don't watch it because it's not for you. So I was pretty shocked that Debbie Ryan played that role. So basically, Insatiable is about this girl, Debbie Ryan, who's always stress eating all the time. But she meets her passion coach. Um, she started losing weight like, and started competing for pageants and stuff like that. It's a really good show, but it's kind of risky. So, yeah. So if I were you, um, make sure you're 16, you're able to watch it. If you're not 16, don't watch it, please. Like, just don't. Because I know I have viewers here who are younger, and I know I have older viewers here. But yeah, Insatiable is a really good show. Hopefully they bring it back. It's one of my favorite shows. And I like watching it at night, too. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it to all my top 10 TV shows. I do have more, but I just did the first 10 I liked. I am probably going to do a part 2 to this video if you guys like it. I mean, if you don't, oh well, I'll probably want to do it again. But it's going to be a part 2, hopefully. But yeah, that's pretty much to it. But... Make sure you like this video, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment which show you're going to watch from my suggestions. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.